has in recent times publicized the need for all to have a taxpayer identification number. Ten. To this end, the GRA has informed the public on numerous occasions on the need to have the team. The Revenue Administrations Act, RAA 2016 Act 915, gives legal backing to the team. The team is an 11 digit unique number given to identify you and enable GRA credit to you whenever you pay your tax. The RAA mandates the Commissioner General to set up a taxpayer identification numbering system for the purpose of identification of taxpayers and promoting tax compliance. Effectively, it is to broaden the tax net to capture all potential taxpayers and afford the Revenue Administration the ability to monitor all transactions entered into by taxpayers. In accordance with the RAA, a person shall show the thing in any claim, declaration, notice, return, statement, or other document used for the purpose of a tax law. The RAA provides a list of institutions to which the thing applies. The institutions are the Ghana Revenue Authority, the Controller and Accountant General, the Registrar General's Department, the Registrar of Cooperatives, the Lands Commission, the Immigration Service, the Passport Office, the Driver and Vehicle Licensing Authority, the Courts, Ministries, Departments and Agencies, Metropolitan Municipal and District Assemblies, Government, Subdivisions of Government and Public Institutions not listed, Banks, Insurance Companies and other financial institutions, and Manufacturing Companies among others. It therefore means that one cannot transact business with these institutions if one does not have the ten. The transactions are the following. You cannot clear goods from the ports, register your land document with the Lands Commission, obtain a tax clearance certificate from the GRA, open a bank account, register your company at the Registrar General Department, Obtain payment for jobs, contracts done for government. You cannot file a case at the courts. You cannot obtain a passport from the passport office. Obtain a driver's license and register your vehicle at the DVLA. Nor bid for contracts from government agencies. You cannot conduct business with ministries, departments, and agencies. And you cannot conduct business with metropolitan municipal and district assemblies. GRA has already made the public aware that the enforcement of TIN for the above purposes became effective on the 1st of April 2018. Therefore, today being the first working day of the month, GRA deems it proper and appropriate to re reiterate the already publicized information. So far, GRA has issued 1,090,338 TIN numbers. 1090338 10 numbers. It must be stated that the GRA has already held a series of meetings with the above mentioned institutions to assure the smooth operation of the policy. These institutions have been requested to modify their form to include a field for the provision of 10. Consequently, GRA expects the institution mentioned above to demand for the 10 of their clients before transacting business with them. I must emphasize that contrary to concerns being expressed by a section of the public, that the commencement of the demand by institution for the provision of team before transactions, effective 1st April 2018, signifies the closure of the registration for team. That is not so. The team is still ongoing. The authority will continue to receive, process, and register new applications and as such, urge all who have not registered to quickly visit any of our offices and get registered. One only needs to pick a registration from, from an office, complete and attach the necessary colored photos of the following identifications, and submit at no cost to the applicant. Driver's license, 
or national ID, or voter's ID, or passport, or passport. I need to emphasize, I need not emphasize the important thing to the public. GRA, Tax Administration and Compliance. I wish to once again appeal to all those who are yet to register to take immediate steps to do so. I wish to reiterate that registering for thing comes at no cost to the taxpayer. It comes at no cost to the taxpayer. It is absolutely free. Let me say again that it is free. We appeal to the public to take note that this is a free service and to report any staff of GRA who have violated this principle. Said any staff will be severely sanctioned. GRA will continue to rely on you, our charity media partners, to convey our message to the public. Thank you all for coming.